let's say you work for Confluent, I want to look up CFLT and what the, the dollar volume was today, but I actually want to ask questions. Like maybe I've got a user interface and I type in CFLT and I want to know what the price is right now and I'm waiting, you know, like I've just tapped on my phone and I'm, I'm looking for the results. So here's where interactive queries come in. How does that work? Interactive queries exposes that state store for viewing so that you could, you provide the key and you can execute a query object that will look that up and return that aggregation to you. Like you said, it's, it doesn't get any more real time than that. You know, whatever, whatever it was the last time the event came in was stored, that's what you're going to see. 